नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं सचिन कुमार अवस्थी प्रवक्ता सेठ वीरेंद्र कुमार महाविद्यालय जालो आम जनमानस से अपील करते हैं कि घर पर रहें सुरक्षित रहें जैसा कि माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने भी कहा है जान है तो जहान है पूरे विश्व में इस समय कोरोना महामारी व्याप्त है जिसके कारण आम जनमानस को घर से निकलना मुश्किल हो गया है सोशल डिस्टेंस का हम सभी लोग पालन करें इसी क्रम में हाँ सरकार की मनसानुसार एवं बुंदेलखंड विश्वविद्यालय के आदेशानुसार कॉलेज प्रबंधन ने निर्णय लिया है कि कॉलेज के समस्त प्रवक्ता ऑनलाइन क्लासेस स्टार्ट करेंगे जिससे कॉलेज के छात्रों को ऑनलाइन स्टडी के माध्यम से उनकी पढ़ाई सुचारू रूप से चल सके और उनका भविष्य उज्जवल हो सके उसी कड़ी में मैं बीएससी थर्ड ईयर में कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस जो बीएससी थर्ड ईयर का सेकेंड पेपर है मैथमेटिक्स का उसको स्टार्ट करते हैं पहला टॉपिक हम लोग बात करते हैं तो फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज फंक्शन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स बैरियर फंक्शन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल दैट इज मीन्स इफ एक्स एंड वाई आर रियल वेरिएबल देन जेड इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस आई वाई इज कार कॉम्प्लेक्स वैरियबल फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस इज कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एंड सिंपली इन क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड वी डिस्कस आर जेड इक्वल टू ए प्लस आई वी यू कैन से दिस इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एंड वी आर दिस इज अ रियल पार्ट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर and this is a imaginary part of complex number but in this individually a and b which are real so in this x and y are real variable then z equal to x plus i by is called a complex variable if corresponding to each value of complex variable z equal to x plus i by in a given region or they are correspond one and more value of another complex variable omega which is equal to u plus ib then omega is called a function of complex variable z and in this omega and z both are complex variable so it is denoted by omega equal to fz and now which is equal to u plus ib and in this If to each value of z, they are correspond one and only one value of omega. That omega is called single value function. That is means in this omega equal to z. If we change the value of z and the value of omega is no change. Uh, in this we can say each value of z. That is means the value of z is change corresponds one and only one value of omega. That is means Uh, only one value of omega so we can say omega is single value function and another if to each value of z they are correspond more than one value of omega then omega is called multi value function that is means if we change the value of z then the value of omega is also change so we can say omega is a multi value function and this is the definition of Function of complex variable. Now we discuss another definition, which is analytic function. A function f j, which is one value, that is means single value, and is differentiable at any point z naught, is said to be analytic at the point z. That is means any function is analytic if which is one value and differentiable so we can say which function is analytic function now uh, any example uh, we can say so that this function is analytic and uh, then so this function is analytic in any example so by definition if it is single value and it differentiable so analytic but any condition so next topic is necessary and sufficient condition For f j to be analytic, this is value upon del x, which is equal to del v upon del y, and 
del u upon del y which is equal to minus del v upon del x and another notification of this uh, del u upon del x which is a u x and del v upon del y which is a v y and del u upon del y which is a u y and del v upon del x which is minus v x and this uh, condition is uh, also called cauchy riemann equation or cr equation that it means if uh, any example can say so that this function is analytic so we not use it uh, its definition single valued and differentiable we use this condition this condition that it means cr equation if any function is satisfy cr equation so we can say which function is analytic function this condition is cr and this uh, cr condition we uh, take uh, these notification del upon del x del upon del x these are the notification of partial differentiation and according to partial differentiation uh, if uh, partial differentiation can say uh, another variable treat as a constant that it means if we partial differentiate any function with respect to x and in which uh, another uh, variable by so we can say by treat as a constant for example uh, we can say del upon del x x square by that it means we partial differentiate with respect to x so this by it is a constant so which is outside so by del upon del x x squared and then so which is a y or x squared so dx this is a 2x by of partial differentiation of x squared by now uh, we check uh, we take an example uh, which clear uh, to analytic function now uh, we take an uh, example for example so that the function e to the power x cos by plus i sin by is analytic and find its derivative a function of this example this example say this function prove that this function is first analytic now also find out its derivative so in this we take fz equal to e to the power x cos by plus i sin by and fz which is a u plus i v e to the power x cos by plus i sin by So u plus i v. Now we multiply this both e to the power x cos by plus i e to the power x sin by. Now we compare both because which is equal. So real real part equal and imaginary imaginary part equal. So u equal to e to the power x cos by and v equal to e to the power x sin by. Now we partial differentiate of this. The partial differentiate of this del u upon del x. So cos by t is a constant and differentiation of e to the power x also e to the power x. And differentiation with respect to y del u upon del y so e to the power y and this is a cos by so minus sin by so minus e to the power x sin by. Now in this v, if I, again uh, first we partial differentiate with respect to x. Del v upon del x, so sine by t is a constant, and e to the power x, so e to the power x, and del v upon del y, so e to the power x, and the transition of sine by so cos by. Now we see that this and this are equal, so we can say del u upon del x equal to del v upon del y, and This and this, so we can say del u upon del y equal to minus del v upon del x. That is means del u upon del x equal to del v upon del y, and del u upon del y equal to minus del v upon del x, which is C R equation. So it is satisfied C R equation, and satisfied C R, so this is analytic. So F J is analytic function.
Now in this uh, example, uh, second part is find its derivative. So f z equal to u plus i b f dash z then u upon del x plus i del v upon del x. Now we replace the value of del u upon del x and del v upon del x. So del u upon del x which is a e to the power x cos y plus i and del v upon del x e to the power x sin y. Now we take common e to the power x cos y plus i sin y and e to the power x and cos y plus i sin y so e to the power i y because e to the power i theta equal to cos theta plus i sin theta so uh, if uh, in product these are same so powers are add so e to the power x plus i y and now x plus i y is z so its derivative is e to the power z so the, this completes the topic of analytic function